What is up, YouTube family? My name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I am documenting my debt free journey as an entrepreneurial licensed clinical social worker with a virtual private practice. Also working part time along with my husband's income, who is a welder with a combined income annual income of about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars per year. I have five children. Again, I have my own private practice. I also work part time and my husband is a welder and we are working with about $305,000 worth of debt or we started with about $305,000 worth of debt, which I we are working our way out of by budgeting, tracking our expenses, decreasing our expenses, increasing our income with a hope or a goal, a wish and a dream, <laughs> to be out of debt within 10 years or less. Today's video is my October debt update and we will get right into it. So this is my October debt dashboard. I do leave the whole, um, this was not originally included. If you downloaded the budget template that I share, um, this is not actually included. I did go in and make some accommodations based on what I was trying to do. So this is the debt dashboard from October 23rd, I mean, October 1st to October 31st, 2023. Um, we go in where it's really, um, so when I started, I didn't do this I didn't quite know what I was doing, honestly. I just knew I wanted to have a place where I could track the total debt, the credit card debt, my student loans, and the student loan interest that I accrue monthly, and then have a place to um, target, I mean, a place to track my target debt and the payments that were made, as well as have a place to track like the overall percentage of debt that I have, um, we were able to eliminate. And so, that is kind of where how this all started. But again, since going in, I know that there are some accommodations that need to be made and there are some things that I need to do differently. And so we'll start off with the total debt, which is what I shared when I did my debt confession. And I feel like there needs to be a place where I can record the starting debt and then the ending debt. Well, the starting debt numbers and then the ending debt numbers because I do um, do it over here in the debt payment total, but I would like to see it like another column added here where I could do like starting of October and then the ending of October. So we actually started October or started our debt free journey with three hundred and five thousand eight hundred and eighty four dollars and eighty cent as the numbers were updated and because I just feel like it'll be too uh, much to add a column here without adding it in all the on other all the other graphs or on this side of the template, I may just um, make sure I update the numbers when I start the next month's debt dashboard. So um, these are actually the numbers that we ended with in October instead of when we started, and that was just my bad. So we ended October with our mortgage at $81,958.59. So we ended October with uh, the car payment at $59,680.85. I recently was listening to a Bigger Pockets, Bigger Pockets podcast with Seth Godwin, I think, and he was talking about how like it's just stupid to um, be upside down going into a car payment, which I agree. And I knew when we did this. But what I will say to justify it is what we traded in was a Kia and what we got was a Honda. And one of the things that I believe and he kind of confirmed was that the best way to build generational wealth is to invest to invest in a camera or a Camry or a Honda. And I do have so I originally like my first car was a Camry. It was my aunt's like 1989 brand new Camry that I got in 1999 I think so it was 10 years old then the first car that I purchased was a 2004 Honda Accord that I paid off and bought a new one in 2024 the good thing about the 2004 Honda Accord we sold it to a family member and it is still running it's 20 years old and it is still running and I mean like 
the person we sold it to drives it from like North Carolina to South Carolina. So it's still doing good. Um, my husband drives my 2020, my 2014 Honda Accord. Um, and I've only had like one major like issue uh, that cost like a thousand dollars to be corrected. And I could stay up to date on my uh, oil changes and all of those things. And so that'll probably be the car that is handed down to my 11 year old. And then I just bought a 2024 no, a 2023 Honda Pilot. So, I mean, if I'm going to buy a brand new car, it is going to be a Honda or a Camry. But because I've always driven Hondas, I'm probably just going to stay in the Honda line. But I don't really see myself, foresee myself buying a newer Honda. But I did also say that once I paid off my 2014 Honda. So, um, but that is sitting at $59,680.85. That's where we ended at the end of October. I did change my pay date from the 12th to the 1st of the month so that paying it weekly at the beginning of November will have it paid off. I mean, we'll have the payment paid in full for December the 1st. Our HELOC started at $23,200 and it ended at $23,200 because the first payment was actually November 1st. Our credit card debt started at $17,125.77 and we ended October at $15,411.41. Uh, not sure what the percentage of that is paid, but that is a significant decrease. And then my student loan balance started at $123,000. No, it ended at $123,964.88. So that um, brings our total debt that we are going into November with at $304,215.73. Whew. Um, I'm going to come back to my target debt and the progress we were able to make on that. So we started with 14 cards when we started our debt-free journey. Um, we are down to nine cards that have a remaining balance. Um, and we are going into November with $15,411.41. So I used to be a heavy uh, Dave Ramsey follower. And Dave Ramsey talks very a lot about... Um, Murphy's Law. When you get on this, Murphy's Law will happen and that's why you need to have an emergency fund. And it definitely did. First of all, I got a crack in my windshield. Yes, on my 2023 Honda um, Pilot that I need to get repaired. It's not a rush for me, but it is starting to spread and I just don't want the spider veins or the spider web like in my windshield. Um, so that's one thing that we have to do. My dog had a very severe allergic reaction. He's a French bulldog, so we had to take him to the vet. That was $467, and we put that back on the same credit card, the Target credit card, just because that was the Target, but that will be paid off by the end of this month. And then both of my boys had to go to the doctor, and the copay was astronomical because my husband has horrible insurance, so we had to pay $150 per child. And we put that on a credit card that, again, we plan to pay off, um, not the credit card, but the $300 by the end of the month. So those things happened. And if we can't get it paid off by the end of the month, then I will deduct the full balance out of my savings account to apply towards those balances. But the goal is to be able to have it paid off because you know how I feel about taking money out of my savings. So the... Um, credit card that we are working on or we worked on for October was our state employees credit union credit card. We started at $24.50 and we ended October at $13.75, but that's not including the $467.56 that was added on from the vet. Um, but the goal is still to have this paid off by the end of November, including the new charges. Um, so that leaves us with uh, nine cards, I think, remaining. If you are looking at these smaller balances, so the $271.37 is my um, Sam's Club card. And we actually put our um, household and toiletries on that card and pay that off at the end of every month just to get that cash back. 
and then my Hilton American Express my son and my daughter are authorized users and those are actually their charges so they will pay those off at the end of the month and then the PayPal I talked about this this is um, the balance we do go off go in and pay the balances that are accruing interest but we have no desire to like knock those PayPal cards out we're just trying to knock out the balances that were are up for interest when it comes to my student loans um I made the two payments I made the October payment although the first payment was not due until November the 6th of three hundred and fifty seven dollars I applied that completely to principal on the target loan that I am targeting which is loan three and then I also made two additional payments from my part-time income because 10% of my part-time income does go towards my student loans to try to decrease my debt to income ratio because we are interested in purchasing more um, real estate. And so I did go in and make those payments. Um, and it I don't know what the balance of the loan was when we started, but I believe this was the ending balance. Um, for October was $17,679.74. And when I started paying on it, it was in $18,000 something. So, and then this was the interest that accrued in September. We I accrued $557.64 on $120 some thousand dollars. And then at the end of October, I accrued $404.16 in interest. So I'm happy to see that the interest payments are decreasing. But um, I shared in a previous video, like I made a $119 payment on my target loan and interest ate up the entire payment. So I'm trying to get in the... I'll be happy when I get in the habit of being able to make weekly payments or multiple weekly payments on my target student loans, but I'm not there that yet because I'm focusing on the credit card debt. So when we go up here to the debt payment total, um, my starting credit card debt was $17,125.77. The ending credit card debt was $15,411.41. The percentage paid was 55%, but I think this is the percentage paid of the total debt, not my credit card debt. And um, the difference comes out to be... So the difference in where we started our debt-free journey and the progress we were able to make or where we ended October is... Uh, $1,669.07 and I'll take that you know I think that that is something it is hopeful and I feel like as long as we follow the plan those numbers will increase monthly as long as we set ourselves up to avoid miscellaneous spending overspending and you know get more specific with where we need to cut expenses and where we need to add budget categories to avoid again like miscellaneous spending so that is where we ended october um i i'll take a thousand six hundred and sixty nine dollars in debt decrease or debt payments for the month of october i mean i definitely think that it's hopeful and i understand that not everybody is able to even make thousand over a thousand dollar in progress that is it for the debt the october debt update i will be um doing these monthly and so if you are interested in following my progress make sure you have subscribed if you have not already subscribed please consider doing so to follow two average individuals with extraordinary debt tackle the debt and build wealth hopefully within the next 10 years if you have watched this far, I really appreciate it. And um, if you're interested in more in daily short form content, my socials are listed below. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye for now.